Hello and good afternoon. Today's video tutorial is going to be on RFC 1918 and specifically we're going to be taking a look at how the addresses in RFC 1918 are represented with the CIDR notation here. Uh, one of the questions that a number of students have each semester is I know that the default classful mask for a class A address is a slash 8 so why is it showing for the 172's which are class B addresses why is it showing a slash 12 here and then for the class C where it's a slash 24 why is it showing it as a slash 16 right and so oftentimes when students take a look at the RFC, and this is actually also printed in the book, the CCNA text, Introduction to Networks, but without a very good description as to why it's being represented like this. And not having covered summarization until the second course, which is the Routing and Switching Essentials course, uh, this may not make a lot of sense. And so this is just a quick video tutorial to talk about how we arrive at this notation that they show here, why they represent it like that, and what exactly does it represent. All right, so let me go ahead and switch over here. So we're gonna take a look at RFC 1918 addresses. Okay, and so for the first block that we've got there, we have the range is from 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 to 10.255 dot 255 and so if I were to represent these in binary it would be the 10 would break out to 1 2 3 4 and then we would have 1 0 1 0 and then dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so then if I were to do the binary representation of the end of the range, it would obviously be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, dot, and then all ones. 6, 7, 8, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I get all those there? Okay. So, and you can see that what ends up happening is it's at the ninth bit here in the second octet, right, and so here's our ninth bit, where they're no longer the same. And so very similar to when you're doing route summarization, right, where you list out your subnets and you do a binary comparison, you do the anding to figure out where they no longer the same. And so it's at that bit where you stop and you say, okay, these eight bits match and so to represent all of the addresses in this range and I'll switch back to black here I could represent that as 10.0.0.0 a little better dot there slash 8 and so what we're really saying is is that the first usable host IP would be 10.0.0.1 and then the last assignable host IP would be 10. 255.255.254 and so here you've got 24 host bits so it's a very large set of addresses that actually is not what I wanted there so I wanted to look a little bit more like that so this is a very large set of addresses here and you can see that without subnetting right we're simply summarizing all of the addresses that would be in here by representing it like this okay and that's why they refer to it here they say the first block is the 24 bit block the second is the 20 bit block and the third is the 16 bit block and so the what they're referring to there are the host bits that are in those blocks not the network bits but the host bits so the first block is nothing but a single class a network number the second block is a set of 16 contiguous class B network numbers. And the third block is a set of 256 contiguous class C network numbers. So let's take a look at the second range. And this is, there's a lot, a lot more going on here with the 172 range. 
So 172.16.0.0, and it comes out to 172. The range goes to dot 31, dot 255, dot 255. So we'll follow that same process where we're going to bust this out into binary. So that's going to be 101 and then 011000. Zero, and then dot in the 16 would be 0, 0, 0, 0001 and then 0000. zero, zero, zero. And then again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and so then the end range here is going to be one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, dot, and then here's where it gets interesting. So 128 is not, so it's 31, so it's not going to have 128 as a value, it's not going to have 64, it's not going to have 32 even, but it will have 16. And then it'll need the 8 for 24, the 4 for 28, 29, 30, 31, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. And so just as before, we take a look and we see the first eight bits, they match. These match, these match, these match, and these match. But here, in the 13th bit. So at the 13th bit, they no longer match. And so that's why when you see this in the RFC documentation as well as the Networking Academy book, you see it represented as 170, whoops, let's drop that back there. So 172.16.0.0 slash 12. And again, that 12 means, just like the 8 up here, how many bits in the network portion of the address match and this notation represents all IPs in this range and so just like we did above the first usable would be 172.16.0.1 and then the last and this is host assignable the last host assignable would be 172.16. oops I apologize let me drop back there 172.31.255.254. And this would be your broadcast address here. So I'll put BCAST. And this is your network ID. Network ID. Right? And so that's why you see it represented in the documentation with a slash 12. And so then it follows that 192.168.0.0 out to 192.168.255.255 and this one we don't even need to break out into binary because you can see that the first octets match the second octets match so we've got 16 bits that match we take a look at the 0 and the 255 and you'll know that 0 is obviously going to be all zeros 255 is all ones so only the first 16 bits match so if we were to say 192.168.0.0 slash 16, right, as you see it represented up here in the documentation as well as the Networking Academy curriculum, it's going to tell us that that represents every address in that range, right, inclusive, okay? And so this is why with the RFC 1918 documentation, a number of students will become confused because they immediately know hey, the class A is a slash eight default subnet mask. And so that's what I see here. So this makes sense to me. But then they come down and they see a class B address represented with a slash 12. But it's not actually representing the default subnet mask. What it's representing is a summarization, right? The network summarization that will include every single address that is in this range from 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255. And then the same here with your 192.168.0.0 slash 16. Again, it's being represented as a summary and not as a default mask, default subnet mask. Okay, so that concludes this video tutorial on RFC 1918. 
and why you see the address uh, range represented as you do. All right, I hope this clears up any confusion and answers any questions that you had regarding the RFC 1918 private addresses and why they are depicted the way they are in the RFC as well as the Cisco Networking Academy text. All right, have a great afternoon.